Hi, in this video we will learn how to change the layouts in LibreOffice Impress. So we are using LibreOffice 4.2 and let's get started. So by default we are having slides on the left side. So as we can see we only have one slide and on the right side we can see there are layouts. So under this tasks you can see layouts. So if any of these is open then all you need to do is click on layouts and then it will be visible so by default there are about 12 layouts there is one more way to access the layout so let's say it's completely hidden then all you need to do is go to tools formats and go to slide layout so it will just make it visible now just to quickly learn how to change the slides slide layouts click on the slide for which you want to change the layout and then click on any of these slides so what layout essentially is is changing the way you present the data so for example in the layout one we don't have any structure of slides so you can just put in random things at random places but if you want to structurize it then we can see we have slide uh, layout 2 in which we have a placeholder for uh, for storing the title and for some text underneath it while if we are talking about layout 3 which has got a place for title and a place to either add text or you can add table chart movie or picture so just click on any of these and it will just ask for the location or in case of table you need to create it so let's say if you want to create a table of table containing 10 columns and 10 rows then just enter the values and click on ok so now we have a table containing 10 rows and 10 table 10 columns also we have this slide number uh, layout number 4 in which we have a placeholder for title and we have two placeholders underneath it one on left and one on right so so what we can do is we can just have an image or movie or table over here and we can write text corresponding to this one over here so let's say on the right side on the left side we have a table containing important data something some text relevant to this particular area now we have title only place in which we can only store the title while we can just put in random um, placeholder not placeholders but random um, components like we can just click on text and we can just start typing something and we can have some circle something or flow charts maybe we have center text in which we have the placeholder in the center and it's quite large so if you if you want to store lots of text in the slide then this is the best way to get it storing large chunk of data so if you will just copy and paste it it will just show you how this is center aligned and it's full of data now if we have this one in which we have large placeholder on the left while two small placeholders on the right side so we can just have some big image large image over on the left side and we can have corresponding smaller images or smaller text some text related to this over here or if you want to store three images or one is large and two are smaller then we can arrange it so essentially layout is the way of presenting the data to the audience so in this we have got six placeholders underneath the title so we can have six different images or images videos charts tables text anything so it just 
to make sure that the slides contain the crucial data which is required for the presentation so also when we are having multiple slides then we have the option of having different layouts for different slides so let's say layout number one is having this particular um, layout while the slide number two can have different layout so let's say this is the layout for slide number two while for slide number three the slide can be the layout can be this one so just keep on adding slides and keep on changing the layouts uh, ideally what happens is the slide the presentations have got consistent layout so every slides will be having same layout but it's up to you how you want to present the data thank you for watching the video